Okay, welcome Jill Peacock, who's the Garden Nutrition Education Specialist for Nokomis Elementary and Frank Zeke, and she also works uh, for the Nokomis Head Start Garden as well. Thanks, Jill, for coming out. So can you tell us a little bit about your role at Nokomis Garden and at Frank Zeke Garden? Well, um, about seven years ago, I got hired on at, to start the garden at Frank Zeke, and I worked there... <clears throat> I have worked there continuously. It's a little, fairly small garden, 100 by 20. And then I uh, teach nutrition and cooking and gardening. So I get to do a lot of gardening there. And then a couple of, two years ago, they said that this garden, the Comis, was expanding. And I said, I really want that garden because it's a great spot for a garden. A nice big garden, beautiful hills around here. And uh, so they cleared the soil and they built the fences around here and made it about twice as big as it used to be. And it's been very productive. We really produce a lot of food out of here, which we mostly eat right in the garden. I mean, we do do a lot of cooking, but we certainly eat most of it straight out of the garden. Cool. About how many kids do you think you work with at Nokomis Elementary? Well, I think almost every class, but two or three send groups out during the week so I only get to see from from half the class I never take the whole class so it would be between 10 in kindergarten maybe whole half the class to about five or six in some of the other classes right. and how often do they come out and what do they typically do in the garden uh, they come out once a week usually and um, they can come out at recess and, and lunchtime when I'm here, but I'm only here two and a half days a week and two and a half days at the other school, so it's pretty narrow time, but they do everything. This whole garden has been worked by them. They've, I mean, mostly the things that I do that they don't do is construction, but even then we've got kids running saws and building most of the boxes with the older kids. They dig, that we plant. I have a background in nursery work, so I have them start the seeds in four inch pots and then we transplant them to six packs and then when they grow on we plant them out. We have this little cold frame over there which was given to us by the college which we use to raise plants in there pretty much year round. So cool. Can you explain some of the nutrition work that you do? I know a lot of the other garden coordinators do much more solid nutrition lessons. We're going to learn about vitamins, but mostly I tie it to eating fruits and vegetables. So, for instance, today we did, our harvest of the month was tangerines, so we looked at a couple of books about growing oranges and citrus fruit, and we hand-juiced some oranges and we some tangerines, and we ate the tangerines, and we drew a picture of a... <laughs> orange tree. So that's the kind of thing we do. I try to make it interesting. Kids usually love to come to my program because it's stress-free and they get to eat. <laughs> it sounds great. Um, what's your favorite part about working in the in the school garden? Well, I like to favorite part. Well, I like the kids, but I guess I like gardening. Yeah. And then, can you tell us a little bit more about the the Ukiah Unified Garden Project? Each you each school has a school a school garden, I right? I think almost every school, except maybe Oak Manor, has a garden, and they had a beautiful garden until it got a rodent problem, so they did away with that. Um, it's a we've been really lucky to be funded by the USDA that sends funds to us because we have low income children who might qualify for food stamps so this is kind of part of their food stamp program the funding has kept up for I think 10 years or something now. Wow and um, what's growing in the in the garden this winter for Nicomas? Uh What can I see right in here? I can see kale and Chinese cabbage and fava beans and lettuce and carrots all different kinds of carrots purple ones and radishes and broccoli and lettuce and artichokes <laughs> and peas and fava beans so um garlic yeah, mostly green leafy stuff i guess but a few roots beets cool. great yeah we just keep going all year we never really stop it's like people back east say 
did you put your garden in? Like in June or something. Well, we really keep on going. Oh. Yeah, we're lucky. can take quite a bit of abuse through the winter. Some of these greens do pretty well. Oh. Great. What do you think is one of the greatest needs for Nokomis Garden? More people to pull weeds. <laughs> the kids aren't cutting it? You know, we have this crabgrass problem and it's really something an adult needs to do. It's, they get bored very quickly and it goes down deep into the clay soil and as soon as they find a worm, all weeding has stopped because they're talking about the worm. So that crabgrass is mean stuff. We would, had potatoes in here and we dug up the potatoes and some of the crabgrass had grown through the potatoes. It's like, oh, killers, killer plant. <laughs> And the final question is, what is your favorite vegetable and why? What is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe broccoli. I don't know. I like broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> yeah, broccoli is tasty and it's good. Yeah, I don't know. Beets. I like beets. I like carrots. <laughs> so you like them all? I like most. I like every vegetable but celery. I can't handle celery. Okay. I like peas. Well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. You're welcome. <laughs>